All right, so the next thing that I want to show you is how to import media into this page that you're working on. So for example, at the bottom of this page, we can import a media from the slide bar over here. You can come to import, okay, to import from Word document, from Mac Markdown, from HTML, and many more other sources. For example, you can click on this import, and you'll be prompted to these very different platforms from Evernote, uh, Trello, Asana, CSV, Confluence, HTML, Word, and Google Docs. You can import document from all of these different platforms. So for now, let's say we want to import a Word document. So we'll click on Word document and you can navigate around to wherever we have uh, those documents saved. For example, in my own case, I have it saved in uh, this is a .docs file. You can just select it and you can come all the way and click on upload and it's going to upload this file into uh, the page. Okay, so you can see right now we've uploaded this Word document. One thing you should pay attention to is that any update that you make from this document will not go back and update on the original document. So this is solidly on Notion platform. If you make any updates from here, it stays only on Notion platforms and it's not connected to the other document in the main computer. So when you check around, you can see it. This is skills, what we've just uh, imported. You can see at the top here, you can drag and drop it to the bottom of the page that we have so you can have it as a simple location within this particular page that we've just created. So we'll collapse everything, it collapses with it. So you can see it over here. And if you want, you can import other documents as well. Maybe the CSV file, you can just click and come over here and say CSV. And then you can navigate wherever you have that CSV file saved. Okay, and you can bring it in. So you can bring in files of different sort of different format. Once it is in line with some of these features, some of these platforms, you can easily connect and bring in those files. For example, Trello, you can easily navigate and log in to do a Trello account and it's directly going to import all your Trello uh, formats. You can log in, you can log into your Trello account, then you can bring it in into this very page so you can have a trailer database also connected with this very platform this is basically how to add a media into the web page into the page that we've just created the next thing is we learned how to add maps to our meetings okay so we, we kind of stated all the details of our meeting and of our club over here and we forgot to capture the exact map location of our club so we can add the map at the bottom over here so you can just come all the way down here and you can come and use the forward slash and then you can just add map you can just uh, type map forward slash map and it should bring you over here you can embed a map by just selecting this map and then you can put in the location website url of that particular location that you are targeting so we'll just pass in our location and say embed map and you can see it's going to embed directly our map so this is kinta valley close masters club and this is the exact location this is 270 a2 wisma fuyat jalan sultan iskandar this much and this is in Perak, malaysia so you can click on this and you see this is kinta valley close masters club so this is the exact location if you want to go to kinta valley close masters club this is how to just add the location very easily and nice and you can move it up or down accordingly you can move it to any location of your choice so, but here we can just add a text. We can put in the four slash and just say this is heading to. They will call map of. Okay, you can see map of our club or club location. You can just see it very easily. Map of our club or we can say club address uh, as far below. So, I think that does it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.